What's up everybody? What's going on? Um, today I'm doing something a little different. I'm shooting at the gun range. It's been raining here where I live. But I am fixing to do an unboxing. Let's see what we got here. An SWFA. Well, we all know what they make. They make scopes. So, let's see what kind of scope we got today. Oh, don't you love how they just pack all this stuff in here? Let's see what we got. We got a set of rings here. Got the low ones. Let's see, what, see what kind of condition these are in. Got little spacers here. Right. Allen wrench, of course. Let's see here. I like these scopes here. Three, uh, three screws on each side. Hooks onto a Picatinny rail. I think those should work out pretty good. Yeah, to be honest, I got another scope. An SWFA on another gun I got. That I'm going to do some long range shooting on. Just haven't got to it yet. But we're going to get there eventually. But I just want to take a look at the scope right here. This is a, a scope I got with my uh, stimulus check. You know how that goes. Get some extra money, might as well spend it on something, right? So I bought the scope, got the rings, got to have the caps for it too. I also ordered the uh, the sunshade, but it's on back order. They, they were out of stock at the time. So let's take a look. Well, that's some packaging there. Let's see what we got here. 20 by 42 MOA quail quad, quad reticle. Sorry about that. So. Imagine you've probably seen a thousand of these, but you know, I think they're pretty cool. It's what the military uses. They use a uh, SWFA fixed power scopes. Yeah. I like it. All right. Whew. Pretty neat. The main reason I get the 20 power is uh, I'm getting older. My vision ain't what it used to be. So, might as well compensate for that. Let's see. Turn it down. See if we can look through it. Eh, I'm probably not going to be able to. No. Oh, oh. Yeah. But, I don't know, I like it. They're heavy duty, they're robust. It's got good, uh, good clicks on it, you know. Like I said, I got one of these on another gun, but it's a fixed 10 power, not a 20. But you'll see it one of these days. Hopefully this will work out. Don't know what gun I'm gonna put it on yet, but that's coming in the future. But I can't wait to get my sun shield on here, put my caps on here, put it on the gun that I can start shooting. And um, of course I'll videotape all that too. It'll be a progression. You know, I'm not, like I said, I can only do what I can do. I'm not a big channel. I'm still growing. And I do appreciate the people that have uh, subscribed to my channel and that ones that have been there from the beginning. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> and um, uh, it means a lot to me. It really does that we're growing. Just got to keep doing what I'm doing. And um, if I get time, like I said, I work a full-time job as it is. So like today, I worked 14 hours, about ran out of work time, but I was able to get done what I needed to get done. So put my caps on here, put my rings on here, put my sunshade on. And then I will have uh, all I need is a gun to put it on. So what kind of gun do you think I should put this on? I'm inter interested to know what you may think. What would be a good gun to use? Let's see if we can see through this thing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the main reason I went with a 20, I can actually see the numbers a little bit clearer than my 10 power. 
because if you can't see what you're shooting at, you ain't gonna be able to hit it. So, and I experienced I experienced that firsthand this past hunting season, but I'll talk about that later at a different time. But I just want to give a quick look at my uh, my scope here. Twenty by forty-two. It might be a little overkill. Like I could have got to twelve or to sixteen power, but you know what? I want to shoot long distance and I want to be able to see where I'm shooting and what I'm shooting at. So I just want to make sure I got enough scope for what I need. But let me know what you think. Let me know what gun I should put it on. Or what do you recommend? Of course I gotta be able to afford to buy it too, so that's always a a thing to consider. Well, until next time, hopefully I can get do some shooting here soon if this weather clears up. And um, that's about it for now. Hope y'all enjoyed it. A little quick video on unboxing my new scope that uh, I was able to buy through my stimulus check, amongst other things. But if they're giving out free money, might as well use it, right? Okay, everybody. We'll talk to you later, and God bless you.